don't deserve love. They walk away quietly in the empty space. Trying to close the yeah. gaps of the past. Yeah. He had an honest query, decided to make his way up to the monastery Fear of being alone, but it's not as scary as the implications of the unknown He stopped but barely discarded his phone and proceeded to top an airy field among the mosses Usually clung to losses, but it was a time of change, he just begun the process Along the trail he saw a monk sin in contemplation Upon his arms were paintings, the art was amazing with the calmest patience And the smarts of the ancients, he started waiting, saw a serene breeze shuffle over the green trees Grazed prayer wheels to the trips of cicadas, carved in gold rear seals of known certain vedas High and still, passing upon the lily pass His mind tempered by his fire wheel Forgot what made him really sad And last he reached the mountain pass Then the peak, looked down upon the land Littered with the vastest creeks He observed his reflection in the river it Seemed so much clearer than the man in the mirror To himself he felt he'd been delivered Cloaked alone in poet, wanders in the trees Clutches pen and pad, dims a glow tranquility Sense of purpose, settles on a path of leaves Cross-legged posture, ready for the masterpiece In the grasp of peace, he opens up the chakras Wrote his finest scrolls with inspiration of the fire Whispers of a redwood, see beside the wisdom, soaks in their awareness, heights redefine its vision. A conscious presence, found in every sapling, among the bees and birds, connections everlasting, discard mental barriers, taking off the mask, so life of purest form, droplets wash away the fallacy, it's a blinding light, ascension of divine strength, inhales a timeless breath, transcending life or death, the unrefined essence, beyond flesh and blood, found all things below, blends with everything above, a surge of inner peace, temple surging, he observes, beautiful a moment, transcending all the hell on earth. Earth. Total ego dissolution, as nature he became one harmonious with all Frictionless the inner sage show An unassuming lady who found delight in the mundane and grand From a cold town named would prefer the sun rays and sand One day unplanned, she paid a grand Found herself on the Mexican hills, looking like waves in the land Back home, she had a mass attack of scraps, sort of fine Fortified that fully restored like Zion But it was about more than buying a click design She simply had insatiable curiosity for the mind Set a sight with soul, so she could skip the guided tour Instead she sneaked down some pyramid steps behind the shore she tried the door, stepped inside with awe Tears streamed down her face like she never cried before Saw something shining beside the floor She almost had a heart attack when she realized it was an artifact It was still sharp, in fact, she touched the symbols carved in black And thought what it'd be like if she brought it back Both bold and shallow, she grabbed the bow and arrow Standing before a statue resembling a golden pharaoh Cold and narrow, held it tight like how a bone holds a marrow Knowing she'd be looking upon it in her home in Harrow While it's strange, what many consider noise Performs in a way that teleports them away all the Takes is a yin and yang snake to swirl with a crane And something goes on in his brain He grows like fast forwarding age And presses on to explore his head's dormant remains He lights up regions that have seldom seen the neurons of flame And sight travels beyond his actual lives Normal restraints no longer held by the force field He escapes and vanishes like a man with a vortical face Where he arrives is an incorporeal place Not a light when near when Morpheus train Amorphous terrain that with absence disorientates When he leaves his memory of before is so vague All he remembers is it exists not the world it Contains. He always wonders after what we're torn away, but just the knowledge that it happened endorphins the pain. But you're wrong if you think that the joy of life comes principally from human relationships. God's placed it all around us, it's in everything, in anything we can experience. People just need to change the way they look at those things. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we, uh, we, we bring this rodeo to a close, uh, I think a couple of things uh, should be said. I am enormously proud of the work we've done together. And I did it my way with people I love. I do not regret one second of anything that we've done here. And, yeah. And I have had more good fortune than anybody I know. So to all the people watching, I can never ever thank you enough for the kindness to me. I'll think about it for the rest of my life. And all I ask is one thing, and this is, I'm asking this particularly of young people, please do not be cynical. I hate cynicism. For the record, it's my least favorite quality. It doesn't lead anywhere. Nobody in life gets exactly what they thought they were going to get. But if you work really hard and you're kind, Amazing things will happen. I'm telling you, amazing things will happen. I'm telling you, it's just true. That's true. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make something amazing happen right now.